Uh, hello so in this video we will going to cover the mapping of crackendy how to use mapping and uh, what is mapping and how to use in crackendy so if i will show you the difference inside i have written uh, there is a one api response original which comes from that specific endpoint uh, it gives us the detail like a body there is a specific details in it and id title user id these are the original fields which comes from the backend api so what if uh, we will change that specific keys like we need to change the body into details id into post id while titles to name and user id to user dash id so uh, it's called mapping so we will use at uh, it specifically and that this video will see how it effects comes in so let's go goes to the kraken or json file these are the specific things which we are re using repeatedly in the previous videos as well the only difference comes in that specific endpoint actually is the original uh, api response means without mapping we have not applied on that specific endpoint and if you notice there is a query string means that i can dynamically uh, accepting user ids uh, for that specific uh, user id uh, i mean to say a post id and uh, it will give a specific post detail so uh, here i have on, on that specific endpoint i have applied a mapping so let's deep dive into that and actually the these are the similar things which are already seen in the previous video as well that specific point is a very important related to mapping in mapping the first keyword is uh, a key is a specifically the key which comes from the response from our original api uh, it's comes like id we will change it to post id user id you'll change it to user dash id title to name and body to details so the changes field uh, effects on the value side while the first field keys uh, we're targeting that that specific key to replace with that so that's the pattern so let's create uh, a build file for that and test it create a docker build i'm going to run it oh i see there is a kraken d already let me remove it first and now again let's try to run it now it's listening on port 8080 now comes to the without mapping uh, endpoint and refresh it it will gives us the original api response and next we will change hit that specific now if we check check it uh, the difference between both of these body uh, replace with details uh, while title replace with name and post id with id so user id with user dash id that's the magic of mapping response in crack candy so thank you so much for watching this video we'll see you in the next video for exploring crack candy further